So up here there's a lot of uh, mobile homes that uh, people live in and some of them are uh, they're considered modified mobile homes. It's what we live in. And um, so basically it started off as a regular mobile home trailer. And uh, over the years it's been modified to be as close to a, a house as possible. And uh, we're told the reasoning behind that is that um, it's hard to get financing uh, they won't give you financing or a loan on a trailer because technically it can be moved uh, at any time you can just hook up to it and move it so um, this has a full uh, foundation under it and uh, if you look over here, um, unlike a lot of them, like the one over there, they just have a skirting around it. And uh, very hard to keep pipes from freezing. This one, they went ahead and put a full foundation under it. And you can see right there, that is still the steel frame from the trailer itself. And... Uh, they went ahead and put an addition on it right there that line right there the addition is the master bedroom and it's a nice big bedroom with closets and lots of space for activities and uh, also what makes this stand out from a lot of them around is it has a basement at the same time they did the addition they put a basement under it so that's why there's not a regular doghouse there's a actual door you walk in here go down the stairs and um, we're able to have our oil tank downstairs nice and warm our furnace and everything is down there washer dryer so makes things pretty nice um, you know, around springtime when everything starts to thaw, it, uh, it does get a little wet down there, but it's pretty normal for uh, any sort of home around this area. No more than uh, maybe a half an inch of water or so on the floor, but there's a drain down there and I just keep up on it. So it's not too bad. And you can see... They've done things like put regular windows and all stuff that a regular house would have. And uh, that's where the new addition starts. Right there. You got another door, another entrance. Walk through that door. And you take a left and you go right downstairs to the basement. So, also the garage was built after the fact years later at some point all the uh, final siding was put on stuff like that so so as you can see my lovely wife and best friend and just the best ever is uh, up there because when they designed this and built this addition they did not put enough pitch on the roof. You can see that this part of the roof has a regular house style pitch on it and it's all metal roofing which was also put on after the fact. It had shingles and um, up here it's better to have a metal roof just go right over it. The Amish actually make it and sell it. Um, so that stuff you really don't have to worry about on that side of the roof because uh, a little bit of sun and that sort of just slides off. As you can see, this guy, he keeps the heat on real high in there. And that stuff, I mean, it don't, it just don't stick to his roof. But um, for some reason, ours stays on. I think it's the way the sun shines too. But anyway, 
they uh, they built this and you can see it's not very much of a pitch so uh, the stuff really doesn't um, doesn't allow it to slide off and melt properly so it's a full-time job to um, keep up on this <clears throat> and we have to make sure that we get most of the stuff off I mean it's okay for the you know the dead cold parts of winter I mean it's frozen it's not going to do anything but um, what happens is those vents up there there's a few of them uh, over the bathroom and um, some other places um, what's happened in the past is that ice and snow will build up and once it starts to melt it has nowhere to go so it sort of just pulls up in spots and it will uh, seep through some of the seals on those vents and uh, I think that's what what had happened uh, we got a few drips on the ceiling so we had to go ahead and fix that um, so that's not very good but um, it's sort of something you just gotta keep up on and you know there's people around that do that for a job you know go around shovel roofs off but <clears throat> you can see on some you know on that regular style no problem but when you got this it uh, sort of drips down and the icicles collect on the edge and you gotta keep banging away at that keep those icicles off to allow it to flow um, I have thought about one of those kits where it's like a heating uh, you know like a wire that you put up there and uh, you plug it in and it gets hot and you know melts it but even just uh, a couple of sections on the edge just to keep it from building up there but um, I don't do ladders very well at all um, never really liked heights but uh, I do have some uh, back problems muscle uh, problems where I get uh, muscle spasms and stuff and uh, sometimes it just uh, I just lock up and fall down and slip on the ice and uh, had some difficulties like that so I don't go up on ladders but the wife she's a worker and she doesn't mind it she gets right up there she don't mind doing it so that's what we're doing today got the GoPro set up uh, just in case and uh, she starts to slide hopefully I can catch her but just like Maine fashion as soon as you go to do something outside it snows it snows pretty much every day but at least if we get most of it off of there we're ahead of the game
in the past, it seems like uh, people before us had somebody go up there and they were using a metal shovel to uh, chip away at the ice. And it actually was a few gouges in the metal up there. Went right through. Uh, it was a while before we even found them. I, in the summertime, I took a walk up there and uh, was looking around and I found them. So I, uh, I used uh, the same stuff, the Eterna Bond. Uh, it's like a very thick tape that you repair uh, rubber roofs on RVs. I put some of that over it and then I just uh, kept on putting coat after coat of uh, Flex Seal over it. And then I, um, I used some uh, roof sealant, like some caulking, and I went around all the vents up there. And then after that set up, I went back up with Flex Seal, and I just hit all the every seam I could find to, uh, you know, just to help out wherever. And uh, yeah, it's. The uh, window sills and the uh, trim up there need some work. Gotta do some scraping and some painting, but I think the roof itself up there has a little bit of like a like a bow to it, if that's what you want to call it, to where it kind of like you know does one of these. So the uh, the water and, and you know the, that builds up up there, and then you know during the day it kind of melts with the sun, and then it freezes at night. What it's doing is it's pulling up on that last five foot of the roof. So um, that's a lot, you know, that's stopping the rest of it from coming down. So that's what I'm talking about. Um, probably have to put like you know I'm thinking um, definitely gonna have to put some uh, ice melt or something up there which you're not really supposed to do with uh, metal roofs obviously with the <laughs> rusting but they they coat this metal roofing with some, uh, some strong stuff it takes a lot for it to rust last many many years you can see um, that little container there. Those are like a, they're like little white discs that um, are supposed to be better for metal roofs. And you kind of just whip them up there. And they're supposed to obviously, you know, create like a little hole and then start to melt around. But what they do is. They just make like a little tiny hole and then, you know, that's it. They don't really like, you'd have to put about 50 of them up there to really do something. But I was, uh, I put a bunch of them, threw a bunch up there and then I went up the top of the garage, look out the window to see what it looked like. And there's just little holes up there. So...
can see how thick that is. It's almost uh, almost four inches thick in some spots. So it's definitely pulling up and sitting up there. That's what creates the problem. So if we are able to put that heat sink, heat trace, whatever, um, kind of run it along the first couple of feet there, even just a couple of rows, but trying to figure out how you would attach it. Uh, it's meant for like a shingled roof where you would just, you know, use some small nails or screws to attach it, but this being metal, you don't really want to be screwing into it. So, I'm not really sure. Maybe some sort of uh, strong tape to hold it on. Um, maybe something you'd have to put on, you know, just for the season and then take off, you know, for the rest of the time. But, I don't know. I'm going to have to do something here in the future. Uh, because it gets to be a pain in the ass. It's a big job. Keep it clear. Bullshit. That's what they are. Little tablets of goodness ring dings they don't work don't buy them don't spend your money it's a waste